Hey guys, this is Redrow from Redrow's Model Studio, and I'm going to talk about how to set up the program today. A lot of people have had a problem where when you get Redrow's Model Studio and you run it, you get a Java exception occurred, and there's nothing to do about it. It doesn't tell you what's wrong. If you reached out to me and tell me, it doesn't tell me what's wrong. It just does that every time for everyone. And I'm pretty sure it just does that for me too. I think it just always does that. I just didn't realize it. And uh, basically, there's a couple solutions for this that I've been working on. But some people tell you you should install Java. They're like, oh, just install Java. And once you do that, you can double click the jar instead of the exe. And that does actually work. Um, but you shouldn't have to do that. So one of the things to realize is in this folder called JRE, I included all of Java in Redditor Model Studio. Because people don't like Java Auto Updater. And so I just figured I'd throw it in there. This probably means you should read these. You should carefully read these licenses agreements if you're going to download that. It probably says you need to download it from Oracle. So if you want to do that, you should do that. Um, but anyway, uh, I put it in there because that seemed to work sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. So sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, because that didn't, and I was years ago when I first set up this exe. Like this is based on an exe for my previous program. Um, years ago when I set that up, I used a tool called JSmooth that builds the exe for you. That's really slow and silly. And so on the new one, you'll notice RedRoomModelStudio.exe. I'm going to publish this version today after making this video. Uh, on the new one, RedRoomModelStudio.exe is 40 kilobytes. And this is actually true of the one version prior to this, uh, but probably a lot of people don't know this. So it's a 40 kilobyte exe instead of 400, right? Why is it 10 times smaller? It's 10 times smaller because I opened Microsoft Visual Studio, C++, whatever that is, and I wrote C++ code that would launch this system and would do it right. And so and you, when you double click this one, it just launches. And there's no extra thing generated by some tool that may or may not work correctly. Um, it, just, it just launches. So when that happens, there's a little loading time, right? It has to load the data. It has to like, figure out what are we going to load. Um, if you've launched it before, if you've never launched it before, maybe it doesn't have that. And then we have the second problem. A lot of people, when they do run it, and they're presented with it, and they're pointing it at Warcraft 3 Reforged. Um, one thing to notice is I used to tell people you need to do this thing with task view and you extract all those folders and all this stuff for the reforged version. You don't have to do any of that anymore. Like basically, um, it'll just find reforged. Like you, you just go in there and you just tell it in this thing, um, add Warcraft 3 install directory and you choose reforged. And so people have been doing that. And when they do, they get this over here where reforged added some units that weren't there before, like Diablo cart and dwarf cart that it's loading in. Um, and you can see those, but they're not the HD, right? It's loading the SD. And I've got several people asking me, they're like, how do I get around this? It can't load HD. It turns out there's just a bug in how I put it together that when it would set this cask thing up in your setup, it would just be wrong. So just click clear all on this new version that I'm going to publish today. And after you click clear all, click add Warcraft 3 install directory, and then go on your C colon and find the reforged Warcraft 3, which doesn't call itself reforged. It's probably just called Warcraft 3. Don't select the data folder or anything. Like just in that in that Warcraft 3 directory, just push open, okay? And it's going to ask you what language to use. So I use English, right? I use English with reforged. And you push okay, and it'll load these same guys. Um, but now that it loads them on the new version, it's going to load them in the correct order. It's going to fix that. So when you push okay, uh, it'll reload, and now suddenly all these icons changed, right? If I load Diablo Cart again, it's going to take a little bit longer, and it's going to load Diablo Cart Reforged, right? And so this is going to get you easy access to the Reforged version of this tool. Um, and it does it in a way that does not, um, uh, does not require you to install Java, hopefully. That's the goal. And also does not require you uh, to install other things. A lot of people have complained about it being too slow. It still is. I didn't fix that yet. Uh, but, you know, it still, it functions. Uh, something else I did recently, and if you're in the animated view, typically, uh, this perspective view here, it's still too slow, but the perspective view will actually animate now. So that'll help you make animations, but obviously um, that's a small drop in the bucket because we also need to fix the other three views which aren't fixed yet. So th there's still work being done on that, um, but this should get you a good head start uh, now on Reforge, you don't have to extract all the game anymore. You don't have to do any of that. Just like I showed you, just click Clear All or Clear It Out, and then add Warcraft to reinstall and add Reforge if that's what you got. Um, and that should, as far as I know, that should work and should load. Um, I haven't tested this if you have Reforged installed but didn't actually buy Reforged. I don't know if that works. If you do that and it doesn't work, all you need to do is go in here and delete the things that say HD with the Delete Selection button. Um, yeah, so I think that should pretty much do it. 
And this should be the new way, the, the greatest and best way now available to launch and use uh, Redder Model Studio. So uh, good luck to you all. Uh, no, I do not know how to edit PKB files, so don't ask me. <laughs>